I would also like to congratulate the recipient of sixth Indira Smriti Puraskar and thank him for initiating organized marketing channel and wish his venture to be even more successful in the coming days. As we all know, after a long struggle of Nepalese people, we established a federal republic and have just completed the formation of government at all levels. Nepalese people have trusted us as a carrier of development and prosperity. Therefore, we have a great responsibility to fulfill their expectations. We know we have natural and human resources and once used appropriately, we will succeed in accelerating the pace of development as expected by the masses of people. Our new constitution has guaranteed the right to food and therefore it is a great challenge for us to provide nutritious food to every Nepalese citizen. Similarly, land and labor productivity of the agriculture sector is quite low and thus the living condition of Nepalese farmers is very poor. In addition, large number of youths are migrating to other countries for better earning. Country at present is spending a lot of money on food imports. All these are very serious issues for us to look into and address them properly. In this contest, when I was approached to be the chief guest for this inaugural session, I could not deny, even though it is a very busy time for us. As a student of agriculture, I have the opportunity and I think that it is a great uh, initiative that has been taken because I am informed that the development of agriculture is very rapid and income from the sector is quite high and many farmers, especially youths, are entering into this sector. Similarly, I am very happy to know that aquaculture has reached even in Himali district like Mustang and Manang. Many comrades of my own party are engaged in fish farming and are comparatively satisfied with their achievement. However, there are many areas which need immediate and strong improvement and many issues need serious attention. The availability of quality inputs to farmers and supply of quality fish to consumer need to be ensured. We also get information through various sources that farmers suffer great losses due to mass mortalities of fish. Fish seeds are not available in sufficient quantity. Farmers are not getting proper price for their products. There is limited technical support service to farmers and above all, general con consumers are not getting quality fish in the market and there, there is concern for unhygienic fish sold in the market. I consider all these as very serious issues and areas which needs the support and attention government as well as professionals. I hope you all will discuss this issue and will find out the proper solution. Dear friends, let me take this opportunity to thank the fisheries professionals and fish farmers for being in a sector with highest growth rate in recent times. However, we need uh, to do a lot to be self-sufficient to in fish, optimi optimally utilize our water bodies and conserve the precious gift of nature living in the aquatic environment. environment. I am quite hopeful that this seminar will be able to guide us in addressing some of the issues as we will get the knowledge from our distinguished international fisheries professionals to solve some of our problems. I am looking forward to the suggestion of this conference for improvement of the fisheries and agriculture sector in the country so that we can concretely suggest government to incorporate it in the policy, plan and programs. I wish this conference will be able to achieve the objective and will be a great success, grand success and our friends coming to Nepal for this conference will enjoy their stay in our beautiful country. I must thank and congratulate Nepal Fishery Society for taking this lead in bringing research, education, extension and farmers together on a platform for advocacy and awareness. As this is also a second in peace convention, I wish it to be a grand success and hope this organization will play even more active role in the socio-economic development of the country in general and development of fisheries in particular. 
Finally, I request you all to put a little extra effort to bring a smile on the faces of Nepalese people and wish you all to be successful in getting the faith and support of the farmers. In this process, we will always be with you for any sort of help and support as and when needed. Thank you. Thank you very much.